Welcome to Zeb Solutions. My name is Rahman Zeb, and in this video, I am going to share with you the best three fonts that I personally use in my Google Sites projects. Some of my clients and channel subscribers don't like the look and feel of Google Forms, and they ask me for something else to use in Google Sites instead of Google Forms. After some research on the internet, I found some online font building companies that I personally liked and I thought I should share it with you guys. Okay, the first one on our list is JotForms. JotForm is an online font building company that let you create some good looking forms in no time. It has a free package that let you accept 10 payments and 100 form submissions every month for free. Okay, just log into your JotForm account and if you do not have an account there, just create one. And once you are logged in, you will land on a screen like this one. Click on create form and here you have three options. You can start from scratch or you can use a template or you can import your form from a web page or from a file. I'm going to click on the use template. Okay, they have a lot of templates. They have forms, form templates for almost everyone. They have course registration form. They have forms for doctors. As I said, they have forms for everyone. But what I am looking for here is a simple contact form. So I will click on this contact forms and I will select this one. I will simply click on the use template because I like that one. Okay, here it is. Settings, the callback form. I will click on the integration. I will simply click on the publish. And here I can click on the embed. And I will simply click on the copy code to copy the code. And in my Google Sites, I will click on this embed. And then I will click on the embed code. Here I will paste it. And I will click on the next. And here's our form. Let's make it wider. And make it taller so we can see the form. Okay, let's click on the publish. And let's click on the view. And here is our new form. I guess it's much better than Google Forms. And that's why I'm using Jot Forms for some of my clients. Now let's move to the next one. Zoho Forms is another reliable online form building company that let you create some truly amazing looking forms in no time. Just like JotForm, it also has a free package for newbies and starters. And when it comes to form submissions, they are, I guess, quite generous and they're offering 500 free form submissions each month and the payment limit is only 10. So the free form submissions is I guess more than enough for most of the Google Sites users at least based on my experience. Okay now let's click on the new form and I will click on form templates and here you can see they have categorized everything quite well on the left hand side. So I will assume you are someone from a blue collar job industry and I will select the service order form. Okay, I guess the form is quite good looking and I don't need to change anything. I will click on this use this template. and here i will click on the share 
and then I will click on the embed and once I click on the embed I will select JavaScript instead of the iframe okay I will click on the copy code and I will open the Google Sites tab and here I will paste the code and here is our form let's make it wider and taller so we can see the whole form if you are using google sites i know you would be familiar with this it's quite a huge form okay finally we have reached the end okay now i will click on the publish button and i will publish it now let's click on the view to see how our form works in action this is the first one the jot form and this is our new form and both are these are looking quite good at least when we put it side by side uh, at least they're better than google forms which i personally don't like now let's move to our last selection just like the last ones type form is another online form building company that let you create some next level forms in no time and i'm using the word next time because the forms you can create with type form are truly amazing and interactive and these are the forms that your customers would love to fill in and you will see it in a minute okay there are some downsides and the downside is it does not let you accept any payments in the free package and the limit as you can see right here it's it, you can accept only 10 form responses in a month for free which is a pity but there is nothing i can do about it you might be thinking then why am i putting it on this list the reason behind this is because the forms you can create with type forms are just next level forms and these are not static and boring looking forms just like the other forms so let's get started and let's see what we can create with type forms i'm already logged in and let's click on the create form and here i will click on user template and here i will select contact form okay i will select the f let's select this one second one not the first one okay i will simply click on this you use this template okay let's select contact form because that's the only reason we are creating this form okay now before i share it uh, get the embed code let's click on the publish button and for the embed i want a full page embed instead of the popper okay make sure you have selected this full page we don't need something like pop-up site popper etc so i will click on this get this code and here's the code uh, I will simply copy the code and paste it in my Google Sites by clicking on the embed and then pasting the code that I copied from the website after I found. Okay, let's make it a little wider and let's make it a little bit taller. So now let's click on the preview. I won't publish it. and this is how it looks okay the, now when i just type something in here let's say what should we call you you can call me rahman Zeb, that's my name and when i press enter the next one just slides from bottom to top this is something that i truly like and it's truly amazing that's why i 
put it on this list to show you the possibility of putting some truly amazing form in Google Sites. You just can simply include some static forms in Google Sites. You can put something like this in Google Sites too. This was the reason behind in putting this on the list. Okay everyone, this is the end of this video. Please hit the like button if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks and have a nice day.